Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys kind of an interesting game and idea that follows through when you really think your opponent has Pyroblast or a similar set of cards, something like Double Fireball. Now, a lot of the time this does apply in Constructed when you're playing against Tempo Mage, but not as much as it does in Arena. The reason is a lot of Constructed decks are played by players who refuse to adapt to any different game style. So a lot of players who play Tempo Mage just always without question, regardless of who they're playing against, what kind of meta there is, whatever, they just go face with every spell. So sometimes it can be a bit misleading and constructed, but the better players who play more dynamically can still give you this message of when they have a lot of burst. And in Arena, this is a very interesting aspect because in Arena, you don't know what they have to begin with. You don't know what they have in their deck. You know, not all mage decks in Arena actually have two fireballs, even though a lot of them actually do. But Still, you get the idea. And it's a type of feeling that I think comes with a lot of experience. If you play just a lot of Hearthstone, a lot of Arena, you see your opponent going for face damage in situations where he probably should not be going for face damage. And a few turns of this typically spikes what I refer to as the title, my Pyroblast Senses. And a lot more than, than not, I'm actually right about this. And I think a lot of good players are starting to uh, play this way and understand this aspect of the game, as I kind of see it from some people in chat when I'm playing these type of games. I see like one questionable face hit and a few people in chat start lighting it up. It's like OMG Pyroblast or Pyroblast Prey because they want to see me lose. Of course, they want to see me lose. But yeah, it's a pretty interesting idea and I have a pretty cool game uh, that highlights this aspect. So check it out. Maybe you learn something and I'll see you guys in a little bit Steven to Steven Stigall has made a shit ton of movies over the last 10 years straight to DVD How do movies get made straight to DVD? Do you just like is there like a cinema committee and you're just like please no like, if you made the movie already, don't you want people to pay more to watch it? So many mages at high winds. Mage is not supposed to be that high tier, but maybe there's some pre patch decks in the mix, I don't know. Did I see Broken Arrow? He was advertised as one of the stars and he dies in the first 30 seconds. No, I did not see this movie. Broken Arrow. It's a 1950 film. Broken Arrows? No, this is some other shit. It's time for a lot of blood. Oh, here we go. 1996. Oh, Travolta's in this one. Oh, Executive Decision. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Seagal's on the cover. He's in the trailer. <laughs> Alright. He's the second person on the cast. Dude, the reviews for this movie are pretty good. Why are you smack talking executive decision, dude? I'm a pretty big fan of Jackie Chan, but not so much the recent ones. I feel like most of the movies he's done the last like 10, 15 years, maybe even 20, they're kind of like kid-friendly action movies. It's like, yeah, they're all they're all right, but you know, it's not it's not the same, dude. It's not the same. Some of the early Jackie Chan movies are like so good. He's old and your generation doesn't understand him. Oh, well, seems like he's trying too hard. Justice is mine. The Foreigner's really good. I haven't seen that one, so maybe I should. Oh, that one's not kid friendly. I actually didn't watch it just because I thought it would be. Dragon? Wow. A lizard and a bat, dude. Fucking Jumanji's happening here. 
Well, that kind of sucks. Take the kidnap here. Actually, I'll be honest, like, as much as I like foreign action flicks with, like, kung fu and karate and shit, my favorite Asian films are in two categories. The first category is any movie on an airplane that's from, like, China or Korea, because they're all fucking amazing. Like, they must screen that shit so hard. Because, like, the movies that make it on... That's yeah, quiet. The movies that make it on, like, the <clears throat> the international reel of airplanes from Asia, they're all good. I don't think I've ever seen a bad one. And the second kind, I gotta look him up because I don't remember his name offhand. So that's the first kind of Asian movie that I like. The second kind is any movie that has Takeshi Kitano in it. Any one of them. Alright, that's that's the second big rule there. If he's in it, it's amazing. I think I'll give this a try here. I'm not trading, but... If I can kill it, it'll help. Alright. Of course I've seen Battle Royale, like, five times. Yeah, it's the guy from Takeshi's Castle. That's the guy. Don't I mean if he directs it? I'm pretty sure if he directs it or is in it, or in many cases both, from what I remember. It's all good. I'm actually a little scared right now. Well, there's no way he's burning me from 14. But yeah, taunt minions. That'll do it. It doesn't have a board clear. I will purify the uh, yeah. I'm warning you. I'm unstable. Yeah, I couldn't win. Babbling book pyroblast. If I made any other play the previous turn, I was dead, so I had to make that exact play, and making that exact play, I was dead to the taunt, unless I top-decked removal, which I didn't. Rip. <laughs> 